Welcome back to March Madness Analysis. Today I'm joined by Ramon Singh, junior guard from Xavier. Roman, uh, Ramon, Ramon, it's very nice to have you with us today. No worries, man. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, thanks. Yeah. All right. Well, let's start with your early days. Um, and we're actually going to go back to your Australian days. You were born and raised in Sydney, Australia. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. When did you move to the United States? Um, I moved when I was 16 for high school basketball, but I'd visited a bunch um, before that. And okay. played like did you a- play any basketball in Australia? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I grew up playing basketball pretty much. Oh, um, yeah, I see. Yeah. Uh, what was the transition like from Australia to the United States? Um, it was different. Um, it helps that I'm from an English speaking country. I feel like that really helped. Um, school was kind of similar. Uh, I would say easier sometimes, but it was cool. Um, the transition wasn't easy at first, but then it got easier, um, as time went on and my school that I went to really helped as well. Yeah. Huh. Well, you played at Lovely Mirror high school in Indiana. Um, yeah. Did you play with guys like Jordan Poole and Ponta Lise and a lot of current NBA and college stars? Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. That's Definitely awesome. Played with Pont, yeah, Pont's a big name from Lalu. Uh-huh. Was, yeah. What was your basketball experience at Lalu Mir like? Um, well, it was so, so unique um, just because it was very, uh, like, I mean, we all lived on campus together, so it was kind of like a college in the sense that, you know, everyone – eats together, like basically plays video games together when we're bored, like sleeps in the same kind of facility and stuff in the dorm. And um, it was weird because it was in the middle of Indiana. Like it was in the woods, just tucked away. Um, Weird campus. It's a small school. It's just very different to what I've been used to. Um, But it really brought out the best in everyone who went. Like, you know, you could see based off the team that we had, I think we had like a majority of us go Division One, just based off – the situation we all had and how we grew together. And obviously it was a unique experience. Um, 2017, we won the national championship in 2018. We made it to the first round of Geico nationals, which was, you know, such a blessing to be a part of a team like that. Yeah. Both of those two. This is your third yeah. year at Xavier. What made you choose yeah. to continue your career, Xavier? Um, my playing career, like what made me go to Xavier? No, that or just your personal decisions to go to Xavier. Um, so Xavier was, as a school, it was something that appealed to me in terms of my priorities. Um, it's not like a, a school that's a a very big kind of party school. It's not a school that's a very big, um, in terms of like a football school, it's, it's known for its basketball, which is something that is kind of like how Lalu is like Lalu Mir known for its basketball. Um, you know, you got such a great culture around it. Uh, especially in the city of Cincinnati. So that was something I've always dreamt of being a part of, you know, kind of going to a place where the respect is there from a basketball standpoint and um, the academics is there and, you know, all those. Yeah. They had all those people. Yeah. Yeah. Your team was projected to finish in the bottom half of the Big East this year, and you're proving them wrong, climbing into the top 25. What has your team done in the offseason to get better and become one of the best teams in the country? Um, it comes down to, uh, culture within our team. We have a really good culture standing, uh, amongst the guys, uh, work ethics, obviously very important. And it comes down to coaching as well. I, I feel like we followed our coach's game plan pretty precisely. And, um, you know, the hard work that we put in is really paying off in terms yeah, of, it is. Yeah. you've had some pretty big and exciting games, uh, some wins this year, including a tight one against a very good Bradley team a blowout win against a very good Oklahoma team and a win over a tough Marquette team. Do you have a favorite memory in the past three years? Is there a specific game that sticks out to you the most? Wow. I'm trying to think. Um, I mean, obviously selfishly, it's easy to say that the games that I've played in, and you know, the ones that stand out, but I definitely would say one of the biggest games we had was beating Villanova at home. Uh, my freshman year I don't think any, everyone doubted that we were going to be capable of you know beating especially with the team that we had freshman year we kind of we were an NIT team and beating a ranked Villanova team at home was just it was just the environment was crazy to see Centos like that but it, typically the what stands out the games that stand out is Villanova at home and uh, the crosstown shootout so UC University of Cincinnati those games mean a lot you know yeah you're a uh, big rivals with Cincinnati, is that correct? Yeah, that's our main kind of rival school. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. Is there a game you're most excited to play this year? Uh, I 
was really play, excited to play that crosstown shootout. Um, but other than that, I really am excited for the Big East tournament. Um, that's the thing that you know we are kind of working towards as a team. That's our like main kind of goal is to win the Big East tournament this year. So that's something we've kind of you know focused on from a start. So that's something I'm really excited to go. I think it's going to be in New York. I don't know if it is. I don't know if it's been decided yet. But if it is, you know, it's always great to play at Madison Square Garden and be in that environment. Right. That's one of the best arenas in the country. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any season predictions for your team? Uh, what is the ceiling for you guys this year? Um, I wouldn't really say there's a ceiling. I would say that, you know, we consistently keep, keep getting better and focus on improving as a team and, you know, sky's the limit. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining. It's much appreciated. Uh, best of luck to you this year. I'll be rooting for you. Thank you, man. Appreciate your support. Yep. Have a good day. All right, man.